Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. Uh, we're going to discuss n behavioral graphs of functions um, in these notes and examples. And really, it is what it is. It is what it says. It's the n behavior. It's, the, it's what's happening to the graph way, way, way to the left and to the right. It doesn't matter what's happening in the middle of the graph. So let's say you graph um, y equals x squared. It doesn't matter what's happening in the, on the graph that you put on the calculator. You're going to see something like this. But what you see there is the middle of the graph. The ends of the graph are way over here and way over there. By way over there, I mean miles and miles and miles and miles. You can't go far enough to get to the end of the graph. Um, the graph could be doing curly cues in the middle and then go back up. It doesn't matter. It's what's happening on the ends. That's what's happening in n behavior. So the n behavior of a polynomial function is the behavior of y as x approaches positive infinity and negative infinity. Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. Let's find the n behavior of h of x equals x plus 5 all squared minus 8. All right, first of all, let's find the type. It's x squared, so that means it's going to be quadratic. And the other way that I can tell it's quadratic is by the graph. The graph looks like a U. Quadratic graphs look like a U as well. All right, so let's do n behavior. As x approaches, and that arrow right there means the word approaches. As you know, mathematicians are lazy. Lazy, They don't like to write any more than they need to. So instead of writing the word approaches, they'll just put an arrow. So as x approaches negative infinity, that means as x gets smaller, it goes smaller and smaller and smaller, which means you're going farther and farther to the left. As x approaches infinity, what is the y value doing? All right, so here's the way you can do it. Here's the easiest way that I can, I can find for this, and that h of x really just means y. So as h of x, or as x approaches infinity, what happens to the y value? All right, so if we look at the graph... If I'm way out here, standing on the x-axis, and by way out here, I mean way, 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 way down left on the x-axis, like miles down the x-axis. If I have to look up to see the graph, and I would have to because the graph, if I'm standing right here, so let's, let's say I'm standing right there, and here's me standing on the x-axis. And if I'm way out there, how do I see the graph? Do I have to look way up to see the graph? Do I have to look way down to see the graph? And now realize I'm so far away from this middle section of the graph, I can't see it. All I can see is the end of the graph, way, way out to the left. So um, do I have to look way up, way down, or is the graph approaching a number? And if I'm way out on the x-axis, I have to look way up to see the graph because it, it would be way up here. So I'd have to look way up to see the graph. So as x gets smaller, as x goes more negative, the y values are actually getting bigger. So if, if you could look at the, at the table function for this graph, you would be able to see as x gets more and more negative, the y's are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So that means the y values are approaching infinity. Now, conversely, if I am way out on the right-hand side of the graph, so as x approaches infinity, so that means the graph is getting bigger and bigger, my x values are getting bigger and bigger, if I could stand over here on the, on the x-axis, way out to the right, like miles down the x-axis, would I have to look up, look down, or is the graph getting close to a number? And remember, I can't see any of this stuff. All I can see is when the graph keeps going like that. That's all I can see. So in fact, if I'm standing here on the x-axis, I would have to look up to see the graph way up here. All right, so that means as x gets bigger, y gets bigger. So y approaches infinity. Here's a picture of Monticello, which was Thomas Jefferson's home in Charlottesville. If you've never gone, you really should go. It's an amazing place. Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. We're going to find the end behavior of the function g of x equals 1 half x cubed plus 1. All right, here's the graph on the screen. Um, it's x 
cubed, so if it's x to the third or higher, that means it's a polynomial. Um, and I can tell it's polynomial just from the way the graph looks. It kind of looks like a sideways S. Um, all right, so let's try n behavior for as x approaches negative infinity. So if x approaches negative infinity, that means I'm standing way over here on the left-hand side of the x-axis. And I'm going to try and figure out which way I have to look. Do I have to look up to see the graph or down to see the graph? And remember, I can't see any of this. I'm way far, so far out to the left that I can't see any of that stuff going on in the, in the middle of the graph. So since the graph keeps progressing down like that, if I'm standing here, I would have to look down to see the graph way down there. <clears throat> so as x approaches negative infinity, as x gets smaller, the y values are getting smaller. The y values are going down, 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 like that. So g of x or y approaches negative infinity. All right, let's go to the other side of the, of the graph. Now, the graph, again, uh, keeps going like that. So if I'm standing way over here as x approaches positive infinity, so as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, do I have to look up? Do I have to look down to see the graph? Or is the graph getting close to a number? Um, in this case, I would have to look up to see the graph because it's, I'm going to see it way up there. So as x approaches positive infinity, y or g of x approaches positive infinity. So as you can see, these two things are different. Um, and that's okay. If I have a u, they're both going to be going in the same direction, whether the u is pointing up or pointing down. A v is the same way. They can both go to positive or both go to negative infinity. But on a polynomial graph like this, one's going to go negative, one's going to go to positive infinity. Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. Let's find the n behavior for the function f of x equals 3 over x plus 4. Uh, the x is in the denominator, so this is going to be a rational function. It also, the graph looks rational because it looks like two exponential functions kind of overlapped in the same graph. All right, so let's go as x approaches negative infinity. So that means I'm standing way out here on the left-hand side of the x-axis. And remember, and behavior, do I have to look up to see the graph, down to see the graph, or is the graph getting close to a number? Now, in this case, the graph is actually getting close to a number. It is not going to keep going like that forever. I know it's hard to see that. There's an asymptote right there. Um, there's an asymptote that comes through like that. That's a horizontal asymptote. So this part of the graph right here is not going to go ever above that red line. So it's actually going to get closer and closer. This orange line is getting closer and closer and closer to the red line. And the red line has a y value of 0. It's never actually going to hit it, but it's going to get closer and closer and closer to it. So as x approaches negative infinity, as I get way out on the left-hand side of the x-axis, the y values actually don't go up to positive infinity or down to positive infinity. They actually get close to a number, and that number is 0. Now, the same thing is true over here on the right-hand side. There's me standing out on the x-axis, way out on the right. Remember, I can't see what's going on inside the graph there. I'm way so far away that I can't see that. So this part of the graph here is going to come down and ride right along the top of that red line. So it's never going to go below it. It's not going to come down and do this. It is not going to come down and cross through it like that. It'll never cross through it. So since it gets close to that red line without actually crossing it, as x approaches positive infinity, as x gets bigger, y goes to 0. y gets closer to closer to 0. And the horizontal asymptote here is, in fact, y equals 0. Now, we haven't really formally talked about asymptotes, but that horizontal dashed line right there is the line y equals 0, and that's known as the horizontal asymptote. Um, and that will actually help us determine our end behavior for irrational functions.